I also think that J.D. Vance, as a messenger on this, may be an imperfect messenger because we have, as you introduced him, as a combat correspondent. Mm -hmm. And I've also seen the criticism. Just going to point out that I saw yesterday where you talked about combat correspondent, and that's important to me as well. And that's not just about J.D. Vance. That's about all of my Marines. No, you don't. Fuck. <laughs> said it before and I'll say it again. You do not hate these people enough. Brianna Keeler is one of the more loathsome Orwellian characters on CNN, constantly wringing her hands about dangerous misinformation and accusing Trump and Republicans of spreading debunked conspiracy theories. But of course, she carves out an exception for her to do all of those things. For democracy, no doubt. Seriously though, the media has been an organ of the Democrat party as long as I've been paying attention since around the Clinton administration. But holy shnikey. Most of our free press is indistinguishable from the Kamala Harris campaign at this point. This is another great example of that as this fake reporter, Brianna Keeler, copes over the fact that veterans are calling out Tim Walls for stolen valor. So make sure to have your bucket ready because this clip is gonna wanna make you spew. Also make sure to stick around for my thoughts and some bonus footage of CNN cutting their feed when a veteran accuses Walls of stolen valor. And speaking of digestive issues, this is caused by a potential toxin that's in all of our quote, healthy foods that so-called scientists have been telling us to eat with our fraudulent food pyramid for decades. This potential toxin causes digestive issues. And according to Dr. Stephen Gundry, who is a world-renowned cardiologist, this is affecting millions of people nationwide. Warning signs include weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, and stiff joints and even skin problems. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging because digestive issues develop usually over a matter of years and sometimes even decades. Quote, I can assure you that this damage is likely caused by healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you and I can easily fix these problems from our own home. You just need to know which foods are healthy and which foods contain these hidden potential toxins. After years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release this this informative video to the public for free and uninterrupted showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid so you can now go and find that information for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone that's gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone I also think that J.D. Vance as a messenger on this may be an imperfect messenger because we have, as you introduced him, as a combat correspondent, which was what his title was. But when you dig a little deeper into that, he was a public affairs specialist, someone who did not see combat, which certainly the title combat correspondent kind of gives you a different impression. So he may be the imperfect messenger on that. Holy shit. It's just so absurdly Orwellian and deceptive. It really makes me wonder who out there is buying this wannabe CCP state media as real news. For one, some of the most famous war heroes were Marine combat correspondents. The Marine who filmed the raising of the flag on Iwo Jima and then was killed nine days later. Dickie Chappelle who covered Iwo Jima and then was killed by a landmine in Vietnam with the Marines. Remember the Stanley Kubrick masterpiece Full Metal Jacket? The brutal depiction of a Marine combat correspondent's mission in the Vietnam War? It's just so totally shameful. How does she keep her job? I think it's pretty clear that the only reason is because of who her target was. It's okay to smear Marine veterans as long as they shared the same position as your current political opponent. However, there was sort of a good ending to this because Brianna clearly received some serious backlash and had to bring on a retired Marine major to put her in her place. Maybe a little too nicely though? I don't know, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments after you watch this. Just gonna point out that I saw yesterday where you talked about combat correspondent. And that's important to me as well. And that's not just about JD Vance, that's about all of my Marines, but not just Marines. All combat correspondents, public affairs Marines, combat camera Marines, graphic artists, all of those Marines and other service members whose job it is to go where the action is, wherever that is, and to tell the story. And those people, there's a hall in our public affairs school called Defense Information School of 130 heroes that served in that capacity who did not make it out of a combat zone. So that's important to me as well. That's why I'm here today to represent my Marine, J.D. Vance, represent his service, probably try to send a message to all veterans, stand on your record, it's enough, 
but also defend those of us whose job it is to tell that Marine Corps story and to go wherever that story is. Better here in this round. Though. As much as Brianna Killer hates it because she's clearly going to vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, the stolen valor claims against Tim Walls seem to be legit and are not going away. There's plenty of evidence of it out there, including a video of Nancy Pelosi introducing him as, quote, an Afghanistan veteran and then thanking him for, quote, his service on the battlefield, which never happened. We'll hear from Congressman, well... Command Sergeant Major, <laughs> Tim Walls. I want him to know how much we all appreciate his service to our country, whether it's in the classroom or on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Congressman Tim Murphy. Of, oh, excuse me. Congressman Tim Walls of Minnesota. I was thinking of his state. I'd like to say a special thank you to uh, Chairman Lantos, who... Um, an awful lot of wisdom, and as we were speaking about the idea of a of a resolution or a non-binding resolution, um, the chairman. Well, well. As you can clearly see there, Walls made no effort to correct her misinformation and was happy to steal some valor. Now, I already know there's those of you out there telling me to shut the F up because he still served 24 years and that's more than I can say. Sure, that's sort of fair, except I did serve in the Air Force as an aerospace ground equipment mechanic. So I never did anything special, but people who did seem to think that Tim Walls did steal valor. So take it from them. Uh, as far as being a command sergeant major, he, as soon as he retired, or let, 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 I'm going to go with the term retired, which he did, which and he was mm -hmm. eligible after 20 years to get a full retirement. Uh, he was taken out of the academy at that time. Uh, here's another thing about... Well, Sergeant he, Major, I, I do want to hear that... that I, I do want to hear what you have to say, Sergeant Major. Um, I, I know I want to be sensitive of, of your time and your, your audio is beginning to break up just a little bit. <laughs> Man. <laughs> of course. Of course they cut the feed. I don't know, folks. What do you all think? I just know that anytime Trump or any Republican says anything even slightly critical of the military, they are set upon by the media who claims that they're attacking the military and suddenly anti-military. Yet you have the CNN ghoul go on and smear thousands of veterans because she doesn't like JD Vance. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more.